Us. Welcome everybody. You will recall we've done a video on fine tune your Haiyan kata. This is the follow up video fine tune, fine tuning your sentai kata. So we're going to take the four sentai group kata, Basadai, Jion, Kankudai, and Impi. And I'm going to show you certain movements which I would like you to pay attention to when you are doing these various kata. So the first one in Basadai, movement 32 and 33. So I'll do it sideways. So from here, movement 32 is the Koshika Mai with the hands going to the left hip. And you are going to move from here, positive, but in a straight line. Here, before you perform the Yamazuki. So what I would like you to pay attention to is, if I do it like this, many students move this foot too wide when they do this next movement, which is 32. In fact, it's very narrow stance. So from here, if you can, try to turn positive from here, but the feeling is to stay very narrow here, so that it's then easy then to perform movement 33, which is the Yamazuki in Katabasadai. So please pay attention of keeping a narrow stance when you perform the Yamazuki from the Koshikamai. We're then going to go on to the next kata, which is Jion. So in Jion, movement 43, 43 is the lifting of the leg and the arm, where we perform in the Kibidachi the Uchi Otoshi. So in other words, striking downwards like this. Pay attention of when you're lifting the leg that your hip stays shongen, in other words, to the front. Um, you've learned this in Haiyan Sandan, where you have to lift the leg up, and then at the last second, that's when you turn your hips to be able to form the uh, Fumikomege. But in uh, Kata Zion, it's very similar. So keep your hips forward, and then the arms, one is straight forward, and the other one is up into the air. Think of almost having one fist between your leg, and your arm that is straight so that obviously you are performing the movement in a straight line and you are protecting your body when you're moving in that straight line so from here then chopping downwards in other words in movement 43 the otoshi uchi in kata jion we're then going to go forward and we are going to do kankudai and in kankudai movement 19 and 20 is what I would like you to focus on. Movement 19, from here, the Uchikomi strike. And remember, this is like Nagashi in front of your right shoulder. So from here, when you do this movement. So I would like you to please pay attention because in this kata, if your back foot is incorrect, so in other words, if it's pointed outwards, which is incorrect, on move 19, and you're now going to pull it up, the front leg, into move 20 to go into the nojidachi. Be because this foot was wrong in the first place, when you pull this up, you will not be in the nojidachi. In fact, you will be in te nojidachi. So this is important, this back foot. So make sure when you do this movement that your back foot is turned forward in move 19 so that when you perform move 20 and you pull that foot up, you will be in a correct renojidachi. In other words, the back foot slightly turned in. Remember, they also call it L stance. Um, not T stance like in tenojidachi, but renojidachi L stance. So the back foot a little bit turned more than 90 degrees inwards. And it's important how you perform move 19 so that that back foot is properly turned in. So in Kankudai, please pay attention on that back foot when you do move 20. Then, lastly, Impi, movement 7 and movement 8. So from the Agezuki, from here, as you open the head and you lift the knee up, make sure that you don't lift your heel from here. Many students, when they want to get that height, to get the knee to the elbow, they are lifting this too much up here. So from here into move 7, this also performs Nagashiuki, in front of your left shoulder and you perform the Zuki in Osadachi, so from here. The leaning away, remember I just said you know, in the back foot that turns, but from here in movement 8, I want you to focus 
on keeping your right shoulder towards the front. So this is the mistake. Many people when they turn, they turn the shoulder this way. So this shoulder should in fact stay in the front. So from here, if you go from movement 7 into movement 8, keep your right shoulder almost unchanged. So that you can easily look down the arm to perform the Gerambarai going in this direction. So again from here, shoulder stays, turning and looking over your shoulder in movement 8 in kata, in B. Fine tune your center kata and make sure that you can make those little small corrections in a positive way. Enjoy. Us.